Alright, sweet, finally a fun video. Today I'm going over two stroke port tuning. This is just going to be extending the duration. I'll do a different video on shaving ports and uh, compression, flow, all that fun stuff. Anyways, just uh, duration changes. So I have my cylinder here. I've already gone ahead. Well, let's let's start off with this. You will need some precision measurement tools, preferably a very near caliper, a calculator. Uh, this one's a new age one. If you don't have a repair manual for your bike, you should have one. And all of this is going to be based off of this man's book, Graham Bell. Very intelligent man, genius of his time. Anyways, so you're gonna wanna take your precision measurement tool and you're going to leave your cylinder on your bike first of all so you can get the measurement where your pistons at bottom dead center where it's at top dead center because it won't be absolutely flush up top so we measure the top of your exhaust ports those guys there uh, the bottom of your exhaust ports all your transfer ports top and bottom and you can get precise grab yourself a couple telescoping gauges telescoping that'll work <clears throat> and get the width of each port the exhaust is kind of a pain I measure it in three steps the top the bottom and then the middle and then just guide your line from where your bottom and your top mark is I already have all my transfers wrote down I've only highlighted what we're going to be talking about so extending the duration of the machine would um, Essentially raising your exhaust ports you're going to lose a little bit of bottom end, but you're going to get some nice gains in your mid and your top end so If you're going to raise it quite a bit, which I am I'm going to raise it point 29 millimeters uh, My original base gasket was a Cometic one. It was point 25 millimeters And then I noticed when I ran the OEM gasket because I accidentally bought just a piston kit and not a top end kit the bike felt a lot better mid-range, uh, held top end a little bit better too. So I thought maybe this time I would just extend duration instead of uh, widening exhaust ports for power. So we're going to add a new gap of 029 millimeters with a 054 millimeter gasket. I'm going to use this copper gasket from Copper Gaskets Unlimited. Um, but yeah, so. Just real quick, 249 cc's, uh, so you'd wonder how much, um, how many cc's are in uh, each millimeter of stroke, because you have 72 millimeters of stroke, so you have 300, or 3.46 cc's for every one millimeter of stroke. With this point twenty nine gap I'm adding, I'm adding one new cc. We'll get to that here in a second. Let's talk about the duration. So you're going to be basing it off your exhaust port. So from the top of my cylinder, the top of exhaust port, I have 38.72 millimeters of uh, compression area. Your, your secondary compression chamber. So you minus the gap from the top of your cylinder to your to the top of your piston. And you're going to subtract that from this guy right here. And then I'll give you another number and you're going to subtract that from your total 72 millimeters of stroke. And you'll get 33 point or whatever you're going to get. I got 33.83 from bottom. And this is my total stroke. So it's 144 cc's of total stroke. Uh, 67.38 of exhaust duration and with my new one I'm going to 68.24 so for every one degree of your rotation would be 2.5 millimeters and I'm just dividing 360 by 144 to get that so I times that by this number and I have 169.15 degrees of rotation or of uh, exhaust duration my bad and then 
my new one is going to be 170.6, which doesn't sound like much, but baby steps. We don't want to overdo it. We might make the bike unrideable, too pipey. Um, uh, I do have a head gasket gap, and I'm sure that's going to change because it's switching to O-ring style. So I imagine I'm going to add just a little bit more compression, which is fine. I want a little compression for some bottom end. Now the two-stroke compression is your kind of your enemy because it creates heat and heat is what will take away from your power. Plus you have a lot of rotational loss too because of all the pressure. So too much compression is a bad thing for, for a two-stroke. But I want to keep it, you know, a little high. Higher than the 9.5 I believe it was. I should have wrote that down. So... Called up my, got all the buddies over at Fathead Racing and had a custom co combustion chamber made. So, yeah, top secret on that one. You guys don't get to know that until the day I die. And combined with the engine ice, I'm sure I'll stay a little bit cooler and disperse heat a, a lot better. So, hopefully, it doesn't really rob power, it just gives me power on the bottom end and Really, raising compression does not very much for power. Uh, you might expect like a 6% increase where you're only going to get... Um, I'm going to flip this camera around. Where you might only be able to get um, an actual 1% to 2% increase. So, there's no really reason to up compression on two-stroke. Anyways, so I've got all my math done. Picked my gasket. Got my new rings, cylinder still in its prime, dial bore was not even close to being anywhere out. With that, I was within uh, one thousandth of an inch, so I was, I'm still way good. So, throw the new piston rings on, and we're going to get this bike up and going. I can't wait to do the first ride video on this mean madhouse. Catch you on the next one, guys.